In my opinion, the coolest thing about the Tesla Cybertruck is its capability to bi-directionally charge. This means that not only can the Tesla Cybertruck take in a charge to charge its own battery, but it can also discharge from its battery to power household appliances or act as basically a power bank backup for your household in the case of an emergency or a blackout type scenario. This to me is the most bang for your buck because you're essentially buying two things in one, for lack of a better phrase. You're buying an, ele an electric vehicle that is made for transportation and other conveniences. And at the same time, in that same um, tool, which is the vehicle, you are also buying a battery backup that acts as a, uh, a, a, uh, a backup for your household or appliances in the case of an emergency. To me, that is really cool. And that got me thinking. So the Tesla Cybertruck is capable of doing this because of its, of its hardware and the, um, the way it's designed internally. It basically has an inverter and has the ability to bi-directionally charge. So it has a bi-directional charger, right? It has a 240 volt outlet as well as a few 120 volt outlets right in the vehicle itself, in the cabin and in the, um, in the back as well. That got me thinking, how come other Tesla models do not have this ability? Well, I did a little bit of searching and the reason for the reason I'm getting is, is because mainly, number one, um, it wasn't really a top priority in the older models of, of, uh, of the Model 3 and Y and etc. And it really would add to the cost to the vehicle. So, so Tesla was presumably prioritizing uh, the ease of distribution and manufacturing and at, a, at the lowest price point possible. There's also some concern about the battery lifespan when it comes to bi-directional charging. So I'm assuming Tesla did not want to deal with the um, probably inevitable warranty claims that may appear as a result. However, I did find out something that I really had no idea. I mean, it's just out of my curiosity, I would love to, to, uh, to eventually have the option to bi-directionally charge from a, a regular Tesla vehicle like the Model Y, right? And as I'm sure many other people would as well. So I found this article online uh, from, Auto, from Auto Evolution. This is dated September 13th, 2024. So it turns out I'm not the only one, I'm not the only one who, who's thinking about this, right? I'm not the only one who's, who's excited for, for, for bi-directional charging and wishes bi-directional charging was available on every Tesla vehicle. As a matter of fact, Elon Musk did promise, I think in 2023, in the 2023 Investor Day, um, 2023 or 2024, I'm not, I'm not sure, in, in the 2023 Investor Day, that by 2025, all, all Tesla model vehicles will have the capability to bi-directionally charge, right? So it turns out the Tesla Model Y is capable of bi-directional charging. Tesla only needs to flip the switch is the headline from this article, right? And this is published again by Christian Agite on September 13, 2024. So having read this article, the, the, uh, the summary here is that the newer model Teslas, which was tested, uh, the 2024 Model Y was tested here, and it does in fact, the hardware does in fact support the capability to uh, bi-directionally charge. The hardware does support the capability to bi-directionally charge. However, there is no software update that, that allows it for this to happen. So what happened here? The German company Ambibox, which sells bi-directional charging and home battery storage solutions, has already proved this capability. In July, Ambibox demonstrated the bi-directional charging capability on a 2024 Tesla Model Y paired with a stationary battery. During the test, which did not involve any modifications to the vehicle, the Model Y was charged from a stationary battery and discharged energy back into it. So the Model Y was able to receive a charge from the stationary battery to charge its battery. And then from this test, according to this test from Ambibox in 20, on a 2024 Model Y, the battery then was able to discharge a charge back into the stationary, bar back into the stationary battery. 
effectively proving that the 2024 Model Y tested in this specific case was and is in fact capable of bi-directional charging from a hardware standpoint. Now the question is how come how come Tesla has not rolled this out uh, you know has not rolled this out to the whole fleet and that is a question that is that is uh, that that needs to be answered in my opinion pretty quickly um, because if if the Model Ys, if the newer models, let's say the, uh, you know 2024 and up, if they are capable of bi-directional charging, I think this would this would be this would add to the um, this would extremely add to the incentive of buying electric vehicles from Tesla, specifically talking about Tesla, and it would really it would really improve the landscape. I think I think I think many people, I mean. Tesla, you know, Tesla really doesn't need too much help to sell their cars. They're, you know, their cars speak for themselves. Their, their, their vehicles sell themselves. The moment I stepped into a Tesla for a test drive, the upon stepping on the accelerator, I immediately knew what this vehicle was capable of. I immediately fell in love with the vehicle and I immediately converted because I myself was a skeptic at one point. Um, you know, being skeptical of, of EVs. Now, when I when I talk about EVs, I'm talking about Teslas, right? Tesla, in my opinion, is the only player in the game that does EVs properly and correctly, right? Now, you may agree with me or not. That's irrelevant. That's this is just my opinion, right? All I'm saying is that it would be such an even bigger game changer if Tesla comes out and says, "Hey, guess what, guys?" Here's a software update rollout, and whichever vehicles are capable of doing this or are capable of bi-directional charging, you guys are not going to be able to bi-directionally charge. That would be fantastic. Fantastic. Now, I really hope this does happen. And, uh, you know, this is what really gets me excited to uh, know that, you know, the 2024 model wise and above according to this study i mean of course there's there has been no official statement from tesla or whatever right but according for, but according according to this study the 2024 model y is at least capable at the hardware level now why ha why hasn't tesla officially stated you know stated anything about this or, or or rolled it out i don't know could it be because of battery lifespan concerns could it be because of i mean i don't know right so well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see, but I think we should start, um, you know, asking about this, you know, more widely, right? Why, when, when will we, when will we have, you know, more, uh, more widespread, more widespread bi-directional charging in all Tesla vehicles? So anyway, if you like this, um, you know, give me a like, give me a share, share with me your opinions. If you agree with me or not, I want to know. And most importantly, if you if you agree with this sentiment, start sharing this around or start sharing the sentiment around and maybe start asking Elon, hey, listen, I want bi-directional charging. All right, guys, have a good day.